Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today, we oh, it's way out of view, but um, this is my new server. And down here is the Hewlett Packard storage box um, with one drive in it. Uh, so we're going to be putting in some more drives. I only have, um, well, I don't have very many. Uh, my problem is that I, well, I'm not a Hewlett Packard man, uh, specifically. Uh, so I don't have many of these drive cages or trays to put drives in. I do have a lot of drives, but I just don't have a lot of these. So right now, um, I got two of a colleague of mine. This is one of them. And uh, well, he was gonna throw his out. So he, they've already been bended here. So not optimal, but we're gonna try and unbend that. And I think yeah, that, that's perfectly doable. So. Um, the drive that is already in there has uh, has a, a tray without one of these thingies in there. So uh, we'll be taking that out and putting this one back in. I have no idea why would this what this metal thingy will do, but it seems to be there. And then uh, Mr. Stark, yes, actually Stark. Um, I don't think it's uh, it's Iron Man, but he's from Germany and. He was so kind to send me some of these trays. Four of them. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna be putting those in as well. I don't have any good, I don't have any really good drives to put in there right now. So we're gonna be reusing some drives from up here. Uh, this array up here is full of two terabyte drives. We're gonna be using some of those just because, yeah, drives are expensive and. Um, yeah, just to play with, we're gonna have some of these. I've been trying to sell these um, Ecula Del Eculatic Ice Gossy Sands. It uh, hasn't been working out very well for me. Nobody wants to pay the price that I'm asking for them, even though I'm keeping dropping the price. Well, I haven't gotten rid of them yet, but eventually someone will um, pick it up. So the top one, which is outside of you, that one, is up for sale the other one i haven't done ready yet so i don't want to take the top one apart but the second one that one we i haven't prepared for sales yet so just take the drives out of it then i'll just sell it empty who cares so right now we're going to take the two terabyte drives and put them down there so let's just see what we have here we can find some good drives um hitachi drive uh, is a pretty good drive so we're gonna borrow that one they are a bit dusty up here another Hitachi drive the I believe these might be no I'm not sure I'm not gonna say that but um, some of these Hitachi drives might be uh, high-end enterprise drives So these screws, um, they are for this box and I don't want them to get lost or anything. So what I usually do is take the screws and I have some tape here. Someone calls this duct tape, other calls it gaffer tape. Um, let's not debate that, it's one of the two. So that one is um, it's done. So next time I need them, the screws will be right here in the box, which is pretty neat. And then we have this one, and well, this one has to be bended out as well. There. And that goes into... There are these LEDs, or they're not LEDs, they are supposed to to take the light from inside the box and bring them out to the outside. It's not gonna matter that much because we are... Uh, I wonder how this should end up. I wonder if that's how... Yeah, that, that's gonna do good. So if we take the drive here and put it into this cage, that away... Uh, it was totally unnecessary to bend this 
my good colleague. Okay, I don't think that's bad. It's um, it looks pretty good. I even made a new label for it, two terabyte Hitachi. Um, it says that it's an it's a Scotchy drive, so I am very curious if this will will fit in the box down there if there is different. I did find that this piece of metal, it's as if it, it I don't know. Let's let's open it up and test it and see if that uh, if it will do it. Uh, this doesn't run very well, but uh, here is the computer. It sees the one that we have in there. That one is a Samsung drive. So let's see what happens when we put in a Hitachi drive. Uh, the Samsung goes in, that's in one uh, disk pool number one. So I think we should put the next one in pool number two. Okay, so here we have it. We're gonna open. Uh, I don't know what to call these. I just called them pool one and pool two. I have no, we could also call them bay. When we open it, I think it powers up and starts making more noises it's gonna draw through more air there we are just to um, make sure that we're good air wise so we're gonna put see if we can put this in hello oh oh we have activity that wasn't much let's push it back in see what the computer says server you will quiet down so here we have the screen let's go up and refresh this and see if it, it if it sees it yes we have another one we now have two terabytes and it's a Hitachi awesome also three gigabits per second hmm okay hmm okay let's put in some more Okay, so I've been busy. I have um, taken four drives out of the trays from the Dell Ecologic and and we are trying to cook uh, dinner at the same time. I'm having a Danish Basel Kartoffler. In German, I believe they're called Bratkartoffeln. Bratkartoffeln. Yeah, doing that too. So Mr. Stark from Germany, he left the screws in for me on these. Uh, the ones that I just put in the other drive that we put down there I had to go down to the basement and find some screws that would fit uh, for these drive cages oh come on there uh, it's not a big problem there is a lot of lot of room to play with there but yeah luckily I haven't thrown out anything since yeah since ever <laughs> so I did have some screws that fit down there uh, more or less I have kept screws from the very first computer that I ever built uh, I got a big um, case for my first computer and it came with um, quite a lot of screws as well and I still have, I'm sure I have some of those still because it, it just came with so many extra screws you would never imagine it. I don't know what they were thinking but there must have been uh, kilograms of screws for mounting stuff in that computer. Cool. I'll do these four and we'll put them in. So I don't know if I have to emphasize, but um, in a, in a high-end enterprise environment, you would never, ouch, have to take these drives out. Um, when a drive like this fails or do anything, well, you change the whole bloody thing. The, the only reason why we are taking drives out of trays and swapping them over is because I am too cheap to go out and buy new drives for for these high-end enterprise drives like this would easily be 500 bucks US dollars a piece for something like that uh, from new. You could of course get something used, uh, considerably less, but um, reusing this stuff and, and getting nice trays from subscribers is a pretty cheap way to go. So that's um, saving me a lot of money. I need to get some better drives because two terabytes well, the party is over for those, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of money for fun and giggles and we can do just as many RAID 6s and RAID 5s and just a bunch of discs and pass through on 2 terabytes as we can on 14 terabyte drives and well, they cost a lot less. 160 gigabytes SATA drive 
yeah that hasn't been um, overwhelming in quite a while so um, yeah we're gonna relabel that so um, let's open this one up yeah I don't know you have probably seen this but there, and it's noisy there's room for 35 drives in this bay here um, but we start from here and we go in and we're gonna take that one out I think we should just replace it yeah now it, it turned orange it did not like that but let's put three drives in here take out one of these fillers and put the last old drive in there as well so now we have um, six terabytes here there and let's open this one up put this one in here There. The reason I took this one out is because it doesn't have the, the metal thing in the bottom so I need to put that on and then we'll put this one back in. So but it's noisy so let's close it down again. There. I have the metal mounted in this one as well. It's a Samson drive. This is it's a cheap PC drive but well I hope it's gonna do well in here anyway it definitely knows when I um, pull out one of these trays here there it's that again okay so the computer doesn't update itself so we have to press refresh up here let's hope we get six drive we get six drives awesome okay and it's these they're in different port 1e and port 2e and port okay they're in bay 1 bay 2 and bay 3 each of them awesome cool so we can do a lot of different stuff with those drives uh, this smart array p441 it's a pretty high level rate controller it's it's not old it gets the job done we have all different options here we can enable HBA mode which means that it will just pass through all the drive to the operating system so the operating system will see the drives as individual drives as if they were well on an HBA or directly connected to the server uh, without a RAID controller or we can create an array which um, would be what you really need a smart array RAID controller for uh, to do an awesome job there uh, we haven't done any logical devices we have the physical disks and we have some extra features down here I do not believe they are enabled I think we would need to add a feature key or a license key to enable these smart cache actually a um, feature that wouldn't be too bad to have an encryption manager would also I guess need a key or does it have that? Enabling encryption. Hmm, it might it might be available. Okay, cache manager. Okay, and uh, okay that's because the controller itself has four gigabytes of cache on it. There is no available action. Ah, that's a shame. I have to figure out what to do with these drives if I'm um, to create a race or if I'm gonna just pass them through to some operating system behind it. Uh, it's a real shame to use a really awesome rate controller like this as an HPA because HPAs they're cheap pretty decent priced compared this rate controller is uh, well it's I think it's about 500 US dollars where an HPA could go down you could get a used one for 50 bucks I got some for about 75 but that's over a year ago so price might have dropped so short video but if anyone has some of those trays that I just put in just laying around uh, and hopefully someone nearby well I am still missing 64 of those so 
yeah that's a lot i do have a lot of hard drives that i can put in this box i am hoping to to seek out some better drives to get some well you know i just put in six drives that's 12 terabytes you can easily get that in one drive today so it would be um it would be awesome for me to get some better hard drives but to play with i need some more trays to play with this is just a filler um have enough fillers now i have so yeah short video thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye